Hello, Jan here. Welcome back to Foppy's Creations. Today's going to be slightly different. I know I've had a few slightly different videos lately. But, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> but on cue, I do actually have COVID, so I'm not feeling quite up to making my normal videos at the moment. Um, but I didn't want to not have a video go out for you, so I'm using this opportunity to show our viewers makes that uh, I've been promising to do another exhibition as it were um, I've been waiting for quite a few months now for viewers photos to come in of their makes not quite the same response as we had last last time unfortunately but I'm so pleased all the same so <clears throat> these are lovely lovely creations again and I hope that you'll enjoy seeing them Okay, so let's get started. Okay, here we go. First makes are by Lisa Kilmer. Lisa tells me that watercolour quilts were very popular in the 1990s and she used to make them for family and friends. The first one is of a tree, obviously, and has 3D elements to it. Um, it includes a wood grain fabric that was cut into bias strips that she made and then glued and stitched to create the Celtic pattern around the outside. The butterfly quilt includes a plique, embellishment and paint, and the green quilt is apparently a smaller version of her own summer quilt. Now these shawls she made were designed by Morburn Designs. The green one is called Edlothia, and the pink is called Eloth. The third one was designed by Stella Design, and is called Botswana. They're beautiful. I mean, look at the work that's gone into those. I'll put where Lisa got her patterns and yarns from in the description. Next ones are Susan Clark's creations. She actually has a pottery studio and holds classes where people can choose a piece of pottery to paint and take home. These pieces, though, are hers that she's painted herself. As you can see, she's made a whole array of Christmas ornaments. And she loves to paint so much, she gets creative in her house and garden too. Next, we've got Renee. She saw my video of when I repainted my garden ornaments and informed me that she likes to create fairy houses. I, of course, had to see these for myself. I've always wanted one, and they are made with wood, bones, stones, moss, old jewellery, leather pieces, beads, and basically she upcycles anything into fairy houses and puts them all together with lots of glue and a few nails. How beautiful are they? Well done, Renee. <laughs> 